entertainer is a serious triple threat. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Hugh Jackman musical moments. Someday. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've compiled moments that highlight the more musical side of this actor, singer and producer's career. While the Aussie sure has some serious dance moves, if he isn't belting out a tune, you won't find it on this list. Number 10. I Won't Dance Medley 59th Tony Awards. Never gonna dance, never gonna dance, only gonna love, never gonna dance, never gonna. I hear music and there's no one there. You don't need analyzing. Stop! To start this list off, we're highlighting Hugh Jackman's multidisciplinary skills as the host of the Tony Awards and his panache for singing and dancing through various songs about dance. Telling you that he can't sing or dance should be considered a crime, as they seem to come as naturally to him as breathing. Oh, also doesn't shy away from doing big physical movements and exaggerated expressions to engage with his audience. Although Jackman is mostly known for blockbuster roles on the silver screen, he also has a big spot in his heart reserved for all things theater. This passion shines through his act and contributed to his multiple returns as host for the Tony Awards. That's Number 9. The Other Side, The Greatest Showman. So trade that typical for something colorful. And if it's crazy, live a little crazy. You can play it sensible, a king of conventional. Or you can risk it all and see. And now a moment of silence for all the shattered glass that no doubt littered the set. Out of all the moments to choose from in The Greatest Showman, the song The Other Side stands out for its heavily intricate choreography between Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron. You can do like you do, or you can do like me. Stay in the cage, or you finally take the key. Oh, damn, suddenly you're free to fly. It'll take you to the other side. Throughout this duet, the actors contended with musical cues and the myriad of props involved in order to nail the number perfectly. This really how you like to spend your days, whiskey, misery, and parties and play. If I were mixed up with you, I'd be the talk of the town, disgraced and disowned. It's also in this duet that we see a seasoned Hugh Jackman keeping stride with Efron by doing physically demanding moves. This fast-paced track posed a challenge to the actors, but because of their strong theatrical backgrounds and dedication, they pulled off an impressive feat. Number 8. Gaston, Beauty and the Beast. But now that I've grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly on the side of a boy. Way before he portrayed the monster hunter Van Helsing, Hugh Jackman played the tall, dark, and brutish Gaston for an Australian production of Beauty and the Beast. So this was you as Gaston? Yeah. Oh, look at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe that this was actually Jackman's first theatrical role, considering the scope of the project. Critics raved about his performance, stating that he, quote, stole the show without even trying. And I'm thinking, if I sing this note, I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> If I don't sing this note, I'm humiliated in front of 2,000 people. Me! As it turns out from an early age, you always vied for attention and was incredibly talented. He definitely nailed the look and personality of the arrogant hunter. And no doubt this experience influenced his interest in pursuing future projects in musical theater. No one's neck is incredibly thick as Gaston's. Well, there's no man in town half as manly. Perfect, a pure paragon. We'll take this. You, you can, can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. Number seven, Wolverine the Musical, The Matt Edmondson Show. Who am I? 
Am I a superhero with some claws? Or just an actor searching for applause? We know Hugh said that Logan would be the last time he'd play Wolverine, but what if they decided to make a musical? For a BBC Radio 1 guest appearance, Hugh was given lyrics to perform a surprise round of karaoke, where he sang about his dilemma of being known as Wolverine, all to the tune of Les Miserables' Who Am I? Hugh giddily sang the words as best he could, and was unable to resist doing his signature move of drawing out his claws for added effect. I'm Wolverine! We're not sure at what time of day this was sprung up on him, but despite missing that last note, we can't help but find him endearing. I am Wolverine! I haven't got it today! <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Number 6. Oh What a Beautiful Morning, Oklahoma. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Before Logan, there was Curly. Hugh first achieved success outside Australia in 1998 as the charming lead in the Royal National Theatre's production of Oklahoma in London. Hugh received an Olivier Award nomination for his performance and a film version of the same production was made the following year. This breakthrough remains one of Hugh's career highlights, and shows his ongoing passion for theater. As Curly McLean, he commands the stage with his infectious cheer and cheeky mannerisms. What's especially impressive is how early in his career that Hugh showed such range, as both a singer and a theatrical actor. Hey, I got a beautiful Number 5. Crosswalk the Musical – The Late Late Show with James Corden While promoting The Greatest Showman, Hugh Jackman, Zendaya and Zac Efron join James Corden to do a medley of musical theater show tunes from Fame, Guys and Dolls, and On the Town. This series of crosswalk musical performances is ambitious because of the large scale of performers and the number of costumes and props, especially when they did the crosswalk version of The Greatest Showman. The castmates were absolute pros on the crosswalk and even took cues from Corden to give certain lucky commuters a front row performance. Waiting at a traffic light sucks, but having Hugh Jackman dance on the hood of your car? Not so bad. Number 4. Duet with Neil Patrick Harris, 65th Tony Awards. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can do, you can do better. Well, not if Neil Patrick Harris has something to say about that. What starts as light ribbing on each other's accomplishments escalates into a song and dance number to see who prevails. Despite the fact that NPH tends to do more television, while Hugh features heavily in movies, it turns out that they both have a lot in common. For example, they're both naturals when it comes to hitting those notes while also doing complex choreography. It's also nice to see two extremely talented performers have such great chemistry. Just don't ask us which one's our favorite. Buddy, buddy, on the bottom, you're the top. Number 3. Not the Boy Next Door, 58th Tony Awards. What's gold, spotted, and enter stage right on a camel? Over the years, Hugh Jackman has had several iconic looks, but this leopard print shirt and tight gold pants combo had a shook. While hosting and performing multiple musical numbers for the Tony Awards may be daunting, Jackman played it cool, even when a few blunders threatened to pull him out of character. I don't be alone, me far. Undeterred, he kept the energy going, with some cheeky comments and playful interaction with celebrities, including Sarah Jessica Parker. Can we also appreciate Hugh's shameless ease in gyrating his hips next to the bashful Sex and the City star? Come on. That's it, sweetheart. I know, I know the thing. That's it. His 
performance of One Night Only comes in at a close second. You want a heart and soul, it's right on the line. Hello, Mom, how you doing? Number two, Who Am I? Les Miserables. The stranger they have found, this man could be my chance. Why should I save his hide? Why should I right this wrong? When I have come so far and struggled for so long. Film adaptations of musicals either hit or miss the note. Especially with Broadway plays like Les Mis, that have a large following and where expectations are high. Let's be honest. Hugh Jackman did a solid performance of Jean Valjean in the film adaptation of this iconic musical. Out of all of the numbers to choose from in Les Mis, we just had to go with the epic solo Who Am I? Who am I? Can I condemn this man to slavery? Pretend I do not feel his agony. This innocent who bears my face, who goes to judgment in my place, who am I? Sure, the confrontation is another classic hit, but Jackman shines as the conflicted Valjean in this entry's pick. The emotional depth he brings to the silver screen version of Valjean is palpable, and we get chills when he belts out the final line. Who am I? Two, four, six, oh, one. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. To Atlantic City, if not Atlantic City. The music man, and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat -a -tat drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo uniform too, with a shiny gold brain on a coat and a big red stripe. Before you say another word, Chabert, before you chain me up like a slave again, listen to me, there is something I must do. Number one, from now on, the greatest showman behind the scenes. Out of all of the moments captured, this one is the ultimate and most emotional musical moment ever because it wasn't planned. Just before a read through for The Greatest Showman, Jackman had surgery on his nose and was ordered not to sing. And Hugh really did try not to when he found himself before movie execs. But the last track from now on was impossible to resist. <laughs> Hugh's performance builds, at once breathtaking, but also inspiring the vocal artists in the room to sing and cheer their hearts and souls out. Fortunately, someone recorded this near spiritual experience for the internet to see. Unfortunately, Hugh had to get the 80 odd stitches that burst redone. He wasn't the least bit sorry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.